Alright, it's Killer here, and in this video I'm going to talk about my top 5 epic weapon journeys. Coming up number 5 is the Jiminy or Gimini, and this weapon is very useful, but it's way too hard to use when it comes to long range maps since you have to be up close and personal with them. As you can see, some in this match, there were, most of them were using shotguns, so it was pretty hard to use throughout here. The attachments I'm using are the laser sight, silencer, and extended mags. I put on extended mags because this weapon doesn't have much ammo, and it consumes it. It actually consumes it pretty fast. <coughs> and the good thing about this, when you run out of ammo, it reloads even faster, so it's very useful when you run out. Coming in at number 4 is the War Sight, and it's basically like the NV4 Chaos, but the opposite effects. Instead of it firing fast while firing, it shoots slower, and it, it shoots faster while aiming. And it has more recoil than the NV4, but it can be faster with a couple games of using it. And it doesn't have as much recoil as it would, because I'm using like quick draw, foregrip, and silencer, and don't add any optics to it because um, the sight already has integrated on it. It's what makes it epic since you can see uh, basically anything you'll see them with even hardwired or cold blooded on. And you can see the active camo guys which will be pretty useful though not much are using it right now. <coughs> Coming in at number 3 is the original Ripper, uh, and this gun is very useful since it can change from SMG to Assault Rifle, and with the attachments I have on in the Assault Rifle mode, it'll kill in like 3-4 to four shots, or just 3. Uh, it shoots super fast uh, compared to the Ripper Evo, or the Ripper Evolved, and it, it's pretty good, but uh, I have like some of the best epic weapon variants that's the only reason it's at number 3, or it would have been higher up in the list if I didn't have the next two following epic variants. And, hmm, there's not much else to say about this gun, it's just very useful, very good, and kinda easy to use compared to the other ones. Coming in at number 4 is the Erat Cyclopean, and this is really only number 4 since uh, this variant isn't really at the potential it could possibly be. Like in Advanced Warfare, uh, the light machine gun, I forgot what it was called, but the laser one was pretty good compared to this one. This one has like no recoil at all with the attachments, which I'm using quick draw foregrip and the VMC I believe it's called, the optic, and um, this gun has like a hundred fire rate or some bullcrap right, like that with like no recoil, which is very overpowered if it has no recoil, and sometimes I get like kills from across the map even though they shoot me, like right here, it's very easy to control the recoil, it's like no negative effects about the recoil, but yeah. And my top epic variant is uh, K-Bar Interactive since it's so overpowered and annoying, I'm always getting killed by this. And it has stability, which stacks with foregrip, which is pretty dumb. It has like no recoil whatsoever because of this variant. Uh, damn. Alright. And this, the attachments I'm using are quick draw, foregrip, and extended mags. And one of its other attachments is called Drawbreaker, which is basically hollow point, integrated hollow point in it already. Alright, so thank you guys for watching my top 5 epic variants. And if you guys want any more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Or I can do any other videos like in Black Ops 2 or in Battlefield 1. And see you guys later.